Hello and welcome to another YouTube video from Rangde Life is Art. I was just sharing uh, this video from well, it's created uh, two. I've created two albums using one paper pad from Heartfelt Creations, and that's what it's called, Peacock Paisley Collection. And that's the code if you wish to order this paper pad from them. Um, I've done a video using going through that mini scrapbook albums or journal however depending on how you wish to use it so I'll be doing this one now so this one measures about six inches by seven and a half And I'd say it's about two and three quarters inch of a spine. It looks like a kind of a jewellery box if I can show you it from that angle there. But it is an album as you can see from the top. So the way I've done it is it's a ribbon closure over a button. This is a, 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 I don't know if it's a vintage button or not but I've had it for a while in my stash. And used book plates there, some bling, that's uh, scrapbook papers. Used feathers here and then it looked a bit dull which is why I added the bling around the side. And then there's daisies as well in the collection so I added them and I'm finally happy with how that looks now. So that was the side again. I didn't add the charm on to the side because I thought if you did display it looking like a jewellery box or something on your dresser, it'd look a bit weird with something just dangling from the back. So and This isn't the only way of its closure. It's more for decorational purposes. It's actually got a magnet closure and flap there. So when you open that up, that's your flap with the magnets. And that opens up. So you've got a couple of spaces there to either journal on or just leave us is if you want. This is four pages, but they're interactive pages, so there will be a lot of space for pictures and journaling. So the magnets come behind there, which is why you leave that blank. So you you pop that down first and it sits nicely like that against these. So this, I've used a charm here, a peacock charm, and I stuck some gems onto that. You can see it. And then that ticket comes from the collection as well. Now this flips that way, and then that way. So you can stick pictures on there as well. Nothing too thick because otherwise the magnets won't work right. Or you could do some journaling there, stick some paper and do journaling. These flip up. So you've got journaling spots or photo mats. You have four, four of these waterfall pages. Then you have a pocket with a tag there. And like I was explaining, that's a tuck spot as well. That just slots into there. And they all close. And that keeps them in place. And this page. This is a tuck spot as well. So you could tuck something behind there. You can stick a picture in. Or you could journal on there. This flips out. So you have that as a spread. You could do journaling there. Or you could st stick a picture there. Then this is actually a pocket page, so this slides out, it's an insert. So you've got a green panel, a blue panel, a yellow, and then your scrapbook paper. You could put in more items as well into that pocket if you want, or so wished. So that just slots back in. Turn the page over and... You have this Martha Stewart punch here, creating a little pocket. 
got a tug there. And then there was these little images on the ephemera page. And I just turned it into a mini little flip book. So you have a couple of pages there with some washi tape on the side. And you have an image of the peacock on the back there. very quickly close that otherwise I'll probably forget afterwards. In the background you can just see some, I've used a mixture of the resin uh, flower um, daisies as well. Just put that in that way as well because I think it looks nice with the peacock. Actually when those two are out you've got this space here as well to use. This image I really really like. You could do, uh, you could put something there if you wanted. It's actually a pocket page as well. So I've got two cards, flip books. This one's a plainer one. You could do uh, write uh, some writing in there or an inspirational quote, and flips out with a bit of washi and decorative washi tape there to match the front. And you've got space on the back as well for photo mats or journaling. Now this card. It's got an acetate there, sorry about that. And what it is, is I haven't closed it down from the top. So you could put in sequins and beads there. And then that way you've got a little shaker card as well. Or if you wanted, you could just slide in a photograph as well. So same thing again from the inside and the back. So I hope you enjoyed that little idea. We turn over and on the centre page they're both similar looking but we've got a flip up and a flip down as well on these. The interactive albums like I said before on the other one that flips down so you've got them two images and that flips up so you, that's how it looks like that. Now this flips up as well for some even more space and I've just put a card there and it's held there by the magnets that I've used. Now once again with these, like I explained on the other one, it's like, I can't get it all on screen but you have those three sections like that. So you can see that it's a lot of journaling space. So you just pop that there and it's held there by the magnet. You could do that with the top as well. You could put in something there and with the magnet there it'd be held in. But I just wanted it to look like it's a pocket as well. So like on this one it looks like it's a pocket. So when you open that up, you have this plain card here to write on or stick a picture on. These pages, I've just left that one blank, so you can do journaling there or stick a picture there. This one is a pocket page. And I've fussy cut around this peacock. And I've added them too for you in there. You could do something behind as well. It'd look nice. Oh, another thing I forgot on this page, just while I've remembered. These are po they're all pocket pages on this one, and they come with them inserts so that one's got that and it just slots in and on this side we have this one here so I've packed these on card to make them a bit more sturdier showing you that page and on to the next one. That, now that one's like the first page again. So this flips out like this, but on this one we've got a flip up inside as well. So this flips up like that. that. There's a ticket there. And this is actually a pocket page with the some acetate as well. So I've included them two from the paper pack and then this was the cards I was explaining in the other one. I just have a few of these cards, the greeting cards, but I thought they went really well 
with uh, this collection so I've just added them in for you to either journal on or even if you're giving it as a gift you already have a card which you can write into so you've got some journaling spots up there again this slides out now I was wondering if you're a journaler what you could do is you could add more pages and add a signature into there if you wanted there's plenty of space as I've left in between so you've not you're not running the risk of it getting too bulky because of the way it's all done that's a tuck spot as well another ticket from there and this is finally the back page now, that's a tuck spot there as well for you that I wasn't sure if I'm going to put my signature in or if I should leave it blank for you to write something yourself this opens up and it's actually a little flip up book so you've got different pages these are all belly bands so you could slide something behind but I haven't backed them up because I wanted a more as borders so if you, even if you put a picture over it it'll look nice and the last one's a little pocket page so, and I've put that in now another thing is it's got a hidden pocket here so if you wanted to store away something that you didn't want anyone just getting their hands onto you could pop that in back there and then that just closes with the nylon and some organza ribbon I've added some bling and some of the daisies in here as well just to tie it all in with everything else so I hope you've enjoyed that I had a lot of fun working with this kit and like I said I'd highly recommend using these kits I've not closed that right sorry about that getting all fiddly I've not put that one back in right that's why that should be fine now so as you can see you don't really need to use that but I just have because over time it might get loose I don't I'm not sure but really hope you've liked that I'm going through that it will be available in my Etsy store or if you don't use Etsy I do take P uh, PayPal and I ship anywhere so just get in touch with the details that are written below. Thank you for watching. Take care and bye.